Hey everyone, <laughs> Avery is here to say welcome to my one month update. Avery is one month old. She's actually one month and a couple weeks. Third child problems, I'm doing this a little late. So sorry, Avery. But I wrote down some things of her being one month old, so I will definitely fill you in on those. So we took Avery to the pediatrician for her one month checkup, so we have updated stats on her. So let me pull that up. Okay, so I have it off my phone. So at Avery's one month appointment, she was eight pounds, 14 ounces, which put her in the 33rd percentile. And she was 21 and a half inches long, so she was the exact same height, which put her in the 62nd percentile. And then her head, her little head, 35.5 centimeters, which put her in the 15th percentile. Yeah, so she did really good on gaining weight. When we left the hospital, she was 6'11", I think, or 6'14". No, I think her the lowest she ever got was 6'11". When we left the hospital, she was 6'14". And then when we went to the doctor for her one month, she was eight, almost nine pounds. So she's a big girl. She's definitely over nine pounds now. But she's so big, you're such a big girl. And height, the doctor thinks that the hospital just measured her wrong because she should have grown in the one month and so he thinks they just measured her wrong. So she's 21 and a half now. So she's all legs and very skinny, but she has definitely been gaining weight. Um, she's been chunking up and eating a lot. She does like to eat. Anyway, about Avery. Avery is still such a chill baby, which has been so, so nice for Anthony and I. She does not mind being uh, left alone. I mean, we're always watching her, but like put in her swing or put on the lounger while I go help the boys do something real quick. She doesn't mind it too much unless it's at the end of the day, sometimes those can get a little hairy. But overall, she's still a very chill baby, a good sleeper, a good eater. She is a great nurser. She does great with eating and she eats a lot. She spits up here and there, but it's not too bad. The biggest problem that we're having with Avery is she does not like the bottle. We are trying to get her used to bottles just to make it easier for when I have to be away from her so Anthony can feed her and she hates bottles. And we've never had this problem with both of my boys. They both had no problem. They'd take any bottle, they didn't care. Usually I use Tommy Tippy bottles and they both liked it fine. They even liked the bottles that came with my breast pump, like the Spectra bottles. They did not care. She is a diva and it, we have yet to find a bottle that she likes. We've tried Tommy Tippy. We've tried Ma'am or Ma'am. We've tried Boone and we've tried, I can't think of the other one, Nook all those and she doesn't like any of them so we're struggling i think we just have to keep exposing her to the bottle and hopefully she'll catch on but she definitely prefers the boobs over the bottle so she's a little diva there as of avery turning one month old she was still in newborn clothes and newborn diapers which was crazy because i think with both the boys by the time they turned one month they were like almost 10 pounds they were into size one diapers and zero to three month clothes but avery i mean since then she has grown out of it but for the longest time we were putting her in newborn everything which was crazy she was just so tiny didn't help that i kicked her out a week early but still i think girls are just kind of tinier over the first month we have noticed avery starting to focus more on people it used to be that she was just looking everywhere and not really at you but towards the end of the month she has definitely started focusing better on Anthony and I locking eyes. She doesn't do it that much, but uh, when she does do it, she locks on really well, which is so fun because it's like you're starting to see a little more like interaction from your baby instead of them just like looking blankly. <laughs> Avery has also started to kick not a lot, but like little kick movements. And when she sees someone new like come into her 
like view she her eyes get really wide and she starts moving her legs a little more like oh it's someone to look at someone to talk to or she doesn't really talk but someone to talk to her so she's definitely noticing people more and more which is exciting Avery loves bath time we usually do it during the seven to nine where we keep her up every night and usually she's grumpy because she doesn't want to be up at that time she likes her sleep but when we get the bath out she instantly as soon as she touches the water gets so calm we just bathe her in the sink she loves it it's a little stressful bathing her just because she doesn't really have much neck strength yet so i always have to like I have to use one hand to support her head or neck, and then the other hand I use to wash her. So it's a little difficult, but she loves bath time, which is so different because both my boys, when they were this age, hated the bath. So she loves it, which is awesome. She is such a good sleeper. So like I said, we do this thing, we've done it with all of our kids, where we keep them up from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every night, and it really seems to help them switch their days and nights. Um, and get more oriented and helps them sleep better at night. So the first couple of nights when we brought Avery home, she was up every two, three hours at night, which is fine. And then I would say the first two nights home, she was party girl at like 5 a.m. and didn't want to go to sleep because she just didn't understand nights and days and all that. After those like first two days, she has not had any issues. She sleeps, would wake up, feed and then go right back to sleep but she was still doing like two every two every two and a half every three hours waking up to nurse I would get so tired I told my mom there would be instances where I would she would wake up I would feed her and I would put her down and I would lay down and just like close my eyes and then all of a sudden she'd start crying again and I was like oh she must have just like not gotten enough she must need more to eat and then I look at the clock and like two hours had passed like that's just how delirious I was like I was falling asleep and not staying asleep long enough that I thought that I hadn't slept at all so wild but towards the end of her one month she got so much better and was only waking about two times a night usually once at like three and then once at like six so really not that bad she's gotten a lot better she loves to be swaddled we swaddle her and swaddle knees loves both of her arms down but then again when she sleeps like just out and about she does love having her hands by her head so she does either or but she does love being swaddled and it really does help her she also loves her bassinet she does great in that but she also will sleep in the swing and she'll sleep in our lounger she loves sleeping on people she loves being held diva <laughs> but she does so some of the things that Avery does not like <laughs> is having her diaper changed, being naked, and she does not like her car seat. Anytime we put her in the car seat and her in the car, she cries. She usually cries herself to sleep, poor thing, but she just really doesn't like it. Um, hopefully she gets more used to it as time goes on. And then being naked, she just doesn't like it because it keeps her up um, from being able to sleep and the diaper changes. I think she just doesn't like the cold wipe on her bum, which I don't blame her. <laughs> it's been so fun dressing Avery up in all the bows and the new girl outfits and the pinks and the purples. As you can see, her outfit is pink with like cute little flowers on it. Um, her pants have like this little heart on the bum. It's just so cute to dress her up. I don't even have her in a bow. What am I doing? I need to go put a bow on her right now. We had these huge bows on her, but her head is so stinking tiny, like I said, 15th percentile. So I had to go and get smaller bows so it didn't like overtake her whole head. But other than that, she's really been a good baby. The boys love her, mostly my second born, Porter, who's two. He sings to her, wants to hold her, plays with her, interacts with her. My oldest, Grayson, who's five, doesn't really care about the baby too much. He just kind of keeps to himself. Um, but I'm sure when she starts getting more mobile, he'll be more interested in her. But she's really cute. She really doesn't cry that much. Um, and when she does cry, it's just short little cries. So it's not too bad. It has been hard to get a burp out of her. All my kids have been hard to get burps out of. I did notice that I used to be burping her up high on her chest, 
but then I started burping her low, more towards her bum, and it seemed to get burps out a lot better. We have been using grape water here and there um, when she seems to be uncomfortable, and so that's been helping as well, just getting that gas out, I think. I think that's gonna be it. I don't want this video to be too long, but just wanted to update you guys. We're gonna check on Avery being one month old. Can't believe she's been in our lives for a month. We love her so much. Can't imagine life without her, and it's so fun being a girl mom now. And of course, she gets all the attention from all her aunts and uncles and grandparents. She is a very loved baby, but she is getting grumpy. I think she wants to eat again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go and feed her, but thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more updates from Avery. We'll do this every month, as long as I remember third, third child problems. <laughs> so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Say bye. This is Avery at one month. Say bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys.